Juzir. Juzir. I'm a spaghetti. Gabriel's spaghetti. And I love Gabby's songs. I made a video about Gabby saying that she is the best artist. Now today in this video I'm gonna rank every Gabby song. But there is some notes you need to listen to before watching this video. This list is ranked from my least favorite to my absolute favorite. My least favorite song doesn't mean that the song sucks, but it means that the song is so good but I don't like it as my favorite song. And keep an idea on your mind. Gabby's songs are all legendary. There is no song that is bad. Every song is legendary. I'm gonna put covers that Gabby did, but only after Sound of Color. So anything before Sound of Color will not be included in this video. So let's get started. In the place, I'll be there. See you raging out there saying, What? Why you put it that low? Well, you need to know that. This cover is one of her most popular covers ever she did. Somehow it's my least favorite Gabby song. And don't get me wrong, this song is so beautiful and I really love this song. But I got other songs that I think it's better from Gabby. I don't know what the original version of the song is. But Gabby sang this song so well and she was playing on the keyboard which was so nice to see. The music video of the song was In The Nature which was really really beautiful. And it's clearly one of her best music videos. Nothing much to say, this song is so beautiful and Gabby really did a good job in it. It. That show you that Gabby is so talented. Hey, I'll be there, I'll be there, I'll be there for you. I'll be there, I'll be there, I'll be there for you. 17th place, driver license. I wasn't really sure if I put this in this place or I'll be there in this place. I didn't know which one is better because both of them are so good. But I eventually went with driver license. I didn't know who Olivia Rodrigo was at the time. So from this song, I knew who Olivia Rodrigo is. And from that point, I really loved Olivia Rodrigo. I remember at the time, this song was trending everywhere. And when Gabby did the cover of the song, it shocked me because Gabby did it almost identical to the original version. All the falsettos in it and the way Gab played the keyboard was so so beautiful I really loved everything about this song but why isn't low in this list? because this song isn't my favorite song from Olivia Rodrigo she got other songs that I think it's better than this song but Gabby's performance it's million out of ten you should listen to Gabby's version Your street. 16th place, High Hopes. In High Hopes, Gabby did really high notes. High Hopes is one of the best Gabby covers. And you might be surprised why this song is so low on the list, not that high. There are two reasons for that. The first reason is I like other Gabby songs and I think that they are better than this song. And the second reason is this song is not my cup of tea. Gabby will kill me. We really did a good job in it. The song is so beautiful and her voice is so powerful, you will instantly love this song. Gabby did this song with Walk of the Earth and they really make a good team. The music video is so nice and the rhythm is so good. It may not be my favorite Gabby song but it's indeed one of her best songs. Fifteenth place, Rice. The most energetic cover from Gabby. Also one of my personal favorites. Gabby did this cover with Walk of the Earth. And I love everything about this cover. Gabby's voice is so beautiful in this song. The rhythm of the song is so cute. And the lyrics is so beautiful. I like their style of clothes. The music video is lovely and funny. I really love this song. It's one of the best Gabby covers. You should listen to it. Could be the greatest problems we never made it. Yeah, could be talking to you. They trying to hate. In 14th place, something more. Gabby's second song. This song is cute, is nice, but it's my least favorite Gabby original song. Not saying that this song is not good. This song is amazing, but I don't know why I don't relate to it that much. And Gabby's songs are so relatable. Not saying that this song can't be relatable. The lyrics of it is so so relatable. But I don't know why I don't feel like I'm into it. I think because of the rhythm. Because the ukulele version of the song is much better than the original version. But let me say this. This song, if you listen to it, the original version 
or the ukulele version this song is so good it deserves your time to listen to it it just have a lot of things that define gabby as an artist don't take my words that i'm saying it's not relatable that much it's up to every person so maybe when you listen to it it will be the most relatable song ever Thirteenth place, Obladi Oblada, most popular cover from Gabby, and the most viewed video on Gabby's YouTube. And you wonder why this song is so popular from Gabby? Why, from all the songs that Gabby did, this is the most popular one? Well, because Gabby really nailed this song. This song is a cover from Beatles classic Obladi Oblada. The original version is kind of lower than Gabby's version. To be honest, this version from Gabby is better than the Beatles version, in my opinion. The music video featured Gabby with Gabby. That alone can make you watch this video. And Gabby did a Beatles cover wearing a Queen shirt. Pretty Mercury would be proud. This song is amazing. Gabby did it really well. And the instruments are pretty, pretty cute. Yeah, it's not on my top 10 favorite Gabby songs. But it's cool. Molly waiting at the door. And as he gives it to her, she begins to sing. Sound and color. The song that started it all. The Gabby debut song. It's one of the songs that holds a place in my heart. And I really, really, really love this song. It's the song that Gabby debuted it with. It's the song that we know that Gabby is gonna be a great artist. To see a girl at the age of 10 singing that way in a very high note, that proves that Gabby is a great artist. The song came five years ago, and still, if you listen to it to this day, it's one of the best Gabby songs ever. It's it's really really beautiful when you listen to it. The first time we knew Miss B real name was in this song when she revealed it in Sound and Color, Gabriella B. The reason of the song is so good. The song only got a lyrics video, didn't get a music video. But Gabby don't sing this song live anymore, which is a bad thing because this song deserves to be sing it live. It's an important piece of art in Gabby's music history. And you dear viewer, make this song the first song you hear from Gabby. Do it like us, the Spikidis. Every time that I get Eleventh place, Penny Lane. This cover song is so, so, so beautiful. I really love this song. The way Gabby sang it, it's it's amazing. I never heard the original version, but Gabby did the song so, so good. I think the original makers will be proud to see this. And legends say that if you hear this song one time, it will be stuck in your head forever, forever. Yeah, you really enjoyed that a lot. Gabby collaborated with Harm and Ace to make this song. And they really make a good team. The video was made in green screen and it had Harm and Ace playing in the background on the screen. It's a cute thing, not gonna lie. And the different items that Gabby used to sing with, that's really really cute. It's a cute music video, not gonna lie. I'm from the type of guys that don't like cover songs. But this cover just changed the idea of covers in my mind. I really recommend you to listen to this song. You should give it a try. It's an amazing song. It deserves your time. And in his pocket is a portrait of the queen. He likes to keep his fire engine clean. It's a clean machine. place the final countdown hands down this is the best gabby cover ever in my opinion nothing from the best cover of gabby or the newer cover of gabby better than this cover the original song is so good it's hard to nail it off but gabby did and i will get a lot of hate because of this but 
This version is better than the original version. Gabby nailed it. Gabby put all her heart in this song. From the high notes that Gabby did to the instruments that are used in this song, everything about this song is amazing. It's the best cover of Europe classic. I really love this song. I really do love this song. It's perfect. The music video, unlike any other Gabby song, is animated, which is really, really, really cool to see. Kinda reminded me of Kill the Lights by Britney Spears, but it's better than Kill the Lights music video, in my opinion. Ninth place, Hey You. I think this song is very underrated. This song originally made in 2019. Gabby teased it in 2019, but the song didn't release until 2021 in her debut album. Didn't have a music video, which it needed to have a music video. But the 2019 one was slightly different than the 2021. I think Gabby read the song all over again. I mean, here both version. Don't you think that they are slightly different from each other? Hey you, who, me? Hey you, with the funny little things you do Hey there, wait, where? You there, with the funny little face you do From head to toe you are incredible You are so special the way that you are Hey you, yeah you, with the funny little thing you do Hey there, you there, with the funny little dance you do Yeah, I know it's hard, the world is so crazy But keeping it real is what matters Anyway this song is amazing. I love everything about this song. I think that it's very underrated because the spectators don't talk about it every time. You can really dance to this song. This song, it's really have an amazing tune. It really have an amazing way of singing. Gabriel pulled it off and made this song an amazing song. It should have a music video. It would be fire if you thought about it. Gabby, please make a music video, please. Yeah, I know it's hard, the world is so crazy, but keeping it real is what matters. It's place. Dancing by myself. Hello, goodbye. Here I go with that. Gabby definitely didn't sing it like that. This song, right from the start, it hits you. But in a good way, of course. A lot of my friends who are spaghettis consider this song to be Gabby's best song. And I can see their point of view. This song is legendary. But I didn't put it in my top 5 because I prefer other songs from Gabby that you are gonna see towards the end of the video. What makes this song different from any other Gabby song is that whenever you hear it, you are gonna dance. The lyrics are so good and the rhythm is amazing. The music video is great. And yeah, this song will make you sing a lot, a lot of times. Because you are gonna love it so much, you're gonna sing it unintentionally. Fun fact, Gabby sang this song before she put braces. But the music video was shot when she had braces. And after 3 years of having braces, Gabby finally gonna remove him in uh, over a month. So happy for you Gabby. <laughs> Strangers into friends I'm looking for the good ones Can't stop, won't stop Please don't let this end There's no sleep till Brooklyn 7th place, you get me You're talking to me, you're talking to me Cause I don't see anybody else here So you must be Some say freak, I say unique We like to geek out, hide and seek out Truth and lies, but we're not trying to peace out Show the people how to you heard this part? This part is all we needed to love this song. This song is so energetic. Two years and this song is still fire. The style of this song is pretty, pretty, pretty unique. And the music video is gorgeous. This music fit was her best music fit at the time. This song makes you so, so happy. It's really an amazing song. I remember being so hyped about this song. Because this song looked so good. And after I listened to it for the first time, I was like, wow. That blew my mind. Gabby perfected this song. If you notice this, most of the Gabby songs are happy songs. It's because Gabby focuses on happy songs always. And she is very good at this type of music. You Get Me is the best example of those songs. You get Gabriella, you get the best song. That's our church, yes, no one's worthless. Celebrate the diverse in this infinite universe. You know you're as good as me. Always running wild and free. Okay, and everything will be fine today Cause I get you and you get me Maybe that's all we need 
6th place hoodie song this song is underrated and i don't get why there is not much people listen to it people have you lost your mind this song is one of the best songs ever gabriel did a good job in it this song had an amazing lyrics and amazing rhythm like always it was in the perfect time to release this song this song is criminally underrated gabby put an amazing effort in it deep down we all know that this song is an amazing song we all know that this song is one of the best Gabby songs ever she made. Sad thing that this song was the lowest streamed song from Gabby. It's such a calm song, it's such a song when you listen to it, it's really relaxing. At a time, this song was my favorite song. All you need is a shoulder and a hoodie somebody new hands down this song is one of the best gabby songs ever this song proved how much gabby is a great artist this song really put gabby on the map on the map of the best artists of course in this song i guarantee you you will be impressed by gabby's voice from all the songs that gabby delivered a message with this song has the best message and the rhythm of the song is amazing the song have a rhythm that will blow your mind i said that before and i will say it again this song has a rhythm that will blow your mind. And Gabby is doing falsetto in the chorus. It's everything you need from a Gabby song. And the music video is unique like always. The song is actually so good, it became her biggest hit. It became the 11th most listened song in Egypt. In a country which you don't expect a Gabby song to be popular in. By the way, big love to Egypt. The song deserves every success it had so far and deserves more success. I think it's one of her most beautiful songs. First place, New Love, one of my favorite songs ever. This song is so cool, so amazing. There is a thing that this song will always make you sing. Like, I'm walking down the street and unintentionally I sing this song. And my sister like, I sing this song together. I think this song is a gift to the spaghettis. This song features the spaghettis in the music video. But not me, I'm one of her biggest spaghettis. But didn't record myself for New Love music video. Why? Because I was shy too shy i was afraid that people are gonna make fun of me especially my family but as you can see i changed myself and got out of my shy shell they called like that right but let me say i do really regret not being in the video because it was such a cute thing to see it was such a cute thing to be in gabby's music video to support your favorite artist i wasn't in it that's one of the most things that i regret the song is one of her best songs the song featured a lot of good things the song is one of the songs that make you love Gabby. If I'm gonna recommend you a song from Gabby, this is the first song. It have a good lyrics that you can remember so so fast. I really love the song and it deserves this spot. Third place, Like to Like. This song was one of the new songs in Gabby's debut album. And according to Gabby, this song is her best song in the album. And she is right, this song is one of the best songs that she ever made. A lot of times I feel like this song should have been the number one song. It got the best music video that Gabby ever made. And an energy that no one can match. It have an amazing lyrics. And Gabby did high notes and low notes very, very, very good. This song is a masterpiece. Gabby really knew how to make a great song that can everyone like. I like to like this song. It's actually the only new song that got a music video. I would definitely recommend you to watch it. Even without the music video, the song is so good. When you listen to it, you feel like, wow, did Gabby really sing that? And heck yeah, she did. She is the best artist. You need to listen to this song. This song is amazing. It deserves your time to listen to it. So many 
the place feeling all right now this song holds a special place in my heart it always had that special feeling to me it was my favorite song for two years until number one song which will go to later this song has a cute music video and an amazing lyrics that you can easily save when you are happy you'll both feel all right because you will feel all right and if you are not happy you'll put this song to feel all right the style the energy the rhythm Everything about this song is a masterpiece. It's a song that, no denying, you will love it. Everything that the spaghetti love about Gabby is in this song. And she was 13 only when she wrote this song. Gabby is a legend. I'm going out with my beanie on, headphones on, favorite song tonight. I sing it loud cause I'm feeling alright. Hold up! By the time I was editing this video, Gabby shared her poetry with the world. This girl is so talented. I love her. She is my idol. I can't wait to see more poetry from her. The number one song, Leave Those Kids Alone. This song is my personal favorite Gabby song. This song is amazing. It has everything that I need from a Gabby song. The best rhythm, the best lyrics, the best everything about this song have the best thing about a Gabby song. In my opinion, of course. Gabby titled her debut album with the name of the song. The song actually is pretty unique. It has such a deep lyrics with a rhythm you can really dance to. It's a crazy! I love how the song is fast bass. It's a sad thing that this song don't have a music video. Really, it would be an amazing thing to see this song with a music video. That fits her. But hey, I can keep on dreaming. Dreams are for free. I think Gabby made an amazing effort in this song. This song turned out to be her best song in my opinion. It took her 2 minutes and 38 seconds to make a masterpiece. Don't tell me she isn't the best artist. She is the best artist. I'm a guy who likes old songs. I never thought that a 2021 song would be my favorite song. But now, Leave Those Kids Alone is here. And it's my favorite song. Thank you Gabby for making one of the best songs ever. Cause you keep on banging on the door. Can you see my tears flowing right down to the floor? Either way I can hang like a rope swing low. See me slip through the cracks like dough. You can see that I know when it don't seem so. Watch me light it up at the show. Always sleep and I'm fast by and time, no cash. Till they watch me wherever I go. I'm a zig, I'm a zig, I'm a loof, I'm a bag now. I don't wanna go home Thank you so much for watching this video I really enjoyed doing this video I really wanted to share my opinion on Gabby's songs And I hope you liked it Tell me in the comments below If you agree with my opinion or you disagree the most important thing to keep in your mind That Gabby is the best artist I wanted to support Gabby And also teach you about Gabby's songs Big thanks to my mic Who makes that sound when I speak Sorry, until next time, see ya guys. Oh, by the way, big thanks to my friends, Angela, Dove, Omar, Ashley, for supporting me. I really love you guys. Thank you so much for being the best friends that I could ever have. Now, when was I? Yeah, see ya guys.